and thank you for your investment in the Supreme Toning Tower. For a longer workout, feel free to stack any of the workouts that we have on our YouTube page. Now in some of the workouts, I use a ball. If you don't have a ball handy, you could use a foam roller, a yoga block, or even a rolled up hand towel. Remember, the ball is completely optional, so if you don't want to use it, no problem. I'll see you on the Supreme Toning Tower. Hello everyone, Mindy Raymond. I am here with your Supreme Toning Tower. Today we are doing a core blast workout. Let's get started. You want your sculpting bar attached to the tower. We're gonna go ahead and press our feet into the tower nice and strong. And we're gonna just start with a basic crunch. So you're using the hands on the outside of the springs here, on the outside of the sculpting bar. Pull that towards you so you have that resistance. And you're just gonna lean all the way down and then come back up. So find that range of motion that works best for you so that you're really working that core and then bringing it back up. So full abdominal workout here. Basic crunch just to start us off. Of course, beginning with this, you can always do some little warm-ups if you'd like. For me, when I hop on my Supreme Toning Tower though, especially in the core workout, I feel like this is a nice beginning pose to do. So take it down and lift. Down and lift. You're gonna wanna breathe here. So we exhale and inhale. Shh. Tightening that tummy. We're gonna do four more and then we're gonna take dips to the left and right. Final two. Last one. We're gonna take it down to the left, press and lift. Down to the right, press and lift. That's gonna start engaging that side body. Woo, that feels good. Getting that tension. So it's amazing because with the coils, with the springs, it helps lift you back up, but then it gives you that resistance on the way down. So you're really toning that tummy even more than if you were to just do a regular sit up. You can press your feet into that tower nice and strong. Exhale, inhale. Breathe. Find those little dips. You're obviously working your upper body too because you're pulling on that sculpting bar. Breathe. Good. Here's final two. Even it out. Last one on this side. And last one here. And then we're going to just switch to our side body here. Hold on to that sculpting bar. Press through the tower with your feet nice and strong. Hand is on your head, this is an advanced move. You're just gonna lower and lift right here. If this move does not work for you, I encourage you just to do a side plank and hold the side plank. You can do some hip dips too with that side plank if you'd like. But wow, this is really targeting that side body so strong. We're gonna do this a few more times and then we're gonna take it through that circuit three more times. So we're gonna be feeling it, I promise. Here's four, lift, three, nice and strong, press into those feet. Last one, down, lift. Let's take it to the other side. We gotta have those even obliques, right? So we press, find that stretch, and down, and lift. Press, press. Get as low as you can with that sculpting bar, holding on to it. It's gonna again, give you that resistance on the way down and it's gonna help you on the way up. Press. Lengthen through those legs. Breathe into it here, y'all. We've almost got it. Let's do four more right here, nice and strong. Three, woo, two, breathe into it. Last one. You go back to that basic crunch. Take it down and lift. I don't want those abs to rest for too long, okay? So we're getting right into it. Down and lift. Breathe here, push. Lifting that chest up. Engaging through that core for eight. Nice and strong. Seven. Keep a bend in those knees. Good, who's with me here? I'm feeling that core. Almost there, just three, two, one, we're gonna find those dips. Take it down and lift. Down and lift. That little twist in the torso here. 
working, starting to get into those obliques. Not starting, I guess we're already there, right? We've been there. Woo, working the back. Core blast right here. Can you get a little lower? Maybe go down a little bit more than you have been. Breathe. Find that nice lift in the chest. Exhale, inhale. Four more. Woo. We're doing this, guys. We're in it to win it. Take it down, get as low as you can. Final two. And we're gonna find that side oblique, that side plank. Last one. Down, lift. Make it onto your side here. Nice and quick transition. We're just getting right into it. Down and lift. Down and lift. This is one of my favorite moves. It's very challenging, but I tell you what, you feel it in that side body almost immediately. You press into that tower, elongating your body, nice and strong reach. Take it down and lift. Down and lift. We've got four more on this side. Three. Hug that belly in. Two. Woo! One. Yes! All right, switching sides. Get there when you can. Come with me. Here we go. Down and lift. Press. Down. Lift. Press. Oh, try to straighten out those legs if you can on the tower. That challenge you you even more. Woo, down, lift, down, lift. Side plank is that other option, guys. That's a modification. Here's four, breathe into it. Three, two, and one. That is challenging. Let's do it again, guys. Right into that circuit. You get down and lift. Press. Woo. Good work, guys. We're getting that tummy that is going to be so toned, so tight, ready for summer, ready for spring, ready for that vacation we're going to be taking somewhere nice where you got to wear a bikini. Lift and lower. Breathe. Four more. Then we're going to take those dips. Three. This is our final circuit on this. Last one. Take it down to that dip. And lift. Dip. And lift. Press. You can challenge yourself here, guys. See if you can go a little bit lower. Find your pacing, though, that works for you. Not against you. Press and lift. Breathe. I'm with you guys. I am feeling this. I'm feeling this all through my abs, my arms, my shoulders, core blast, my back. Almost there. Let's do four more here. Take it down and lift. Press into that tower. Lift. We're halfway there. Two more, and then we're going to take that side plank variation. Last one. Get as low as you can. Press. Lift. Press. And into the side plank. Final variation here. Let's reach. Down. Lift. Lift. Oh my goodness. Woo! This is some serious workout in that core. Not gonna lie, you guys, you're gonna be loving your body here. I promise that core is gonna be so strong. You'll be killing it. Oh, down and lift, four more. Almost there, guys, lift, three, final two. Can we take it on the other side? Let's move it over here, right into that next side. Press into the tower. Hold under that sculpting bar, down and up. Press into the feet, nice and strong, everyone. Get those legs working too, even though our focus is on the core, this is a full body workout. Down and lift, down and lift. How many more can we do here? Let's try for four more. Here's three, nice and strong. Take it down, two and one. Woo! Wow, I'm feeling that. We're not done now. Let's go ahead, we're gonna get into our hundreds. Lay down on your mat. Sculpting bar is overhead. Option here, you can keep your feet on the mat or you can elevate those feet, whatever feels comfortable for you. You can also bend your knees. That's gonna be my option today. Pressing down, we're gonna lift and press here. 
a variation of those hundreds that we know and love from Pilates. Lift, lift, press, press. Good, chin to chest. Get an option, feet can be down on the mat. They can be extended. Woo, that's the, that's the echelon right here. Bend the knees as needed. Breathe. Almost there, five. Here's four, ah, three, two, and one. Yes, we did that. We did it. All right, let's stand it on up. I'm keeping you moving today, guys. We gotta keep that core engaged the whole time. Standing crunch. You're gonna pull the sculpting bar to your body, feet hip width distance. We're just gonna take it nice and slow down. Breathe, 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 and lift, lift. Lift. So it's almost like you're painting your legs with that sculpty bar. I want you to keep that engaged core the whole time. Squeeze. Pressing that booty back. Lifting up. We've got three more here, nice and slow. But man, that is intense. It's working the arms, the back, the core. Lift. Last one right here. We're gonna hold at the bottom just for a moment. Hold and press for three, two, one. Slowly come up. Stay holding onto that sculpting bar. You're gonna get into a nice kind of a half seated chair. And we're just gonna twist it out here. Twist, twist, twist. Get the end of those obliques. Sink a little bit lower maybe if you can. It's almost like you're just gonna Steering the boat here, taking it back, squeeze. So remember the core is our abdominals, but it's also our back. So we want to get that nice and strong. Good, because we're almost there. Breathe into it. Here's four, three, two, and one. Woo! Man, that was great. Do a little stretch on that side body, huh? Taking a mermaid pose here, reach up and over, stretching those obliques that we worked so hard. Pulling that shoulder down, reach. Taking that hand to the tower, chin to chest. That was a job well done, everyone. That was that was an intense core workout if I've ever had one. Feel free to modify as you need. I need those nice deep stretches at the end. Let's come back to center. Three deep inhales here. Nice big full breath in. Reaching up and overhead. And as you exhale, just gently bringing your chin to chest, stretching out the neck. Inhaling, breathe in. Feeling it, guys. That was so great. Let's do one more. Full breath in. Full gratitude for everything that our body can do, especially here on the Supreme Toning Tower. Great work today. I look forward to seeing you all tomorrow. Thanks.